Today, the Urban League announced a new effort to get more vaccines into arms. It's partnering with over 90 Urban League affiliates and the CDC, launching a campaign called All In. Our Justina Coronel is live in St. Louis to explain its efforts. Justina? Yeah, Kay, the Urban League is targeting communities of color, and that's because the majority of cases in St. Louis cities are coming from black communities. So the Urban League hopes to give them the right information so they can consider getting vaccinated. You know the Delta variant is here now. Racing against the clock. You don't have a lot of time. It takes time to build immunity. Beyond COVID-19, time is what we're up against. We need to be taking very uh, aggressive steps um, to, to get people vaccinated. That's why the Urban League is launching an education campaign aiming at unvaccinated folks through social media efforts, PSAs and outreach events. But it's also honing in on one specific group. Our target audience is African-Americans age 16 to 55. Since the start of the pandemic, black communities were hit the hardest. And with low vaccine rates currently, black communities are making up most of the recent cases in St. Louis. African Americans accounted for roughly about 80% of the cases reported uh, in the city of St. Louis during uh, the month of May and June. Urban League hopes to empower people, arming them with accurate information so we can avoid a chaotic situation like the one in Springfield. In St. Louis, we really need to pay attention and learn from what's going on in southwest Missouri. Mercy hospitals in Springfield and Joplin are swamped with COVID cases. A combination of the Delta variant being in a low in a low immunized patient population has led to this outbreak. At one point, Mercy Springfield ran out of ventilators. As of Tuesday, it had 122 COVID cases, 119 are unvaccinated. They are seeing numbers quicker and faster than we had during the last wave of our pandemic. Time will tell of what's to come here, but the push is to get the ball rolling now so St. Louis hospital systems aren't stuck in a similar scenario. The best tool that we have to prevent this illness is to get vaccinated.